Jean Luing Yang, Ivan Reyes, and Jose Luis continue their mind-bending alternate reality story as the Batman and the Superman of Earth Zero take the fight to the Order as their alternate reality counterparts battle Dr. Adam and Martha Wayne as they try and stop them from destroying another reality. Jean Luing Yang keeps on delivering on his alternate earth and reality hopping adventure story as the true enemy of the book is revealed. I very much enjoyed learning more about Orta's plan for these archived worlds and how it's tied back, of course, to Lex Luthor, who actually gets a lot of play this issue in his alternate reality counterpart, as it's revealed he's very much like an Alexander Luthor for this world, escaping from a dying world to help another. It's rather interesting the story is pulling from all of these great stories from Batman and Superman's past and history, since that's after all what Orta wants. He's making a world that's the best bits of all of the other worlds. Despite the big reality shaking events, the book never forgets that it's a world's finest team up first and foremost and we get some classic Batman and Superman team up action and not only that, but a team up from their supporting cast which never happens all that often so when it does I really appreciate it and I appreciate Gene for doing it here, making every character have a role to play in a larger story. Ivan Reyes and Jose Luis continue to deliver some fantastic visuals for the wonderful story, continuing the really unique film reel look and borders of the page, giving this really great 1940s serial look to the story, and on top of that, we get some new creations made from old characters, like a bizarro Bruce Wayne who later becomes the Two-Face of this world, or the Bane-inspired Alfred. Batman Superman issue 18 was a fantastic continuation of Gene Yang's Worlds Collide storyline, delivering some fun revelations and reveals while also giving us lots of awesome action you expect from a team up book. I'm going to give this issue a 9.5 out of 10. Batman Superman issue 18 heads to Earth Zero where the author has captured Batman and Superman, monologuing what the hero's situation is and how Batman is useless to help the kryptonite poison Superman. The villain throws the Batarang Batman hit him in the eye with back at the hero, smashing his helmet open. The villain says that the hero will draw his last breath soon, but Batman knows he's not as useless as the villain thinks, using a laser to blow up the kryptonite ring on the villain's finger. Batman tells Oracle he's losing oxygen fast, so Barbara tells him to head further into the space station since it's safer there with oxygen. Taking Superman, Batman helps the hero recover from the kryptonite as they get farther away from it. Oracle finishes the research Batman asked her to do, learning that there isn't a single reference in the Justice League database about Orta, but she did find that it's the name of a software system that approximates human creativity, and it was made by a subsidiary of LexCorp, and they just released a beta version a few months ago, with a few clients in the entertainment sector taking it. Batman knows that it's the film studio as Superman asks if they are fighting a computer code. Batman however knows that the villain bleeds and it isn't just a code as the villain sends its robots after the heroes, knowing that they cannot hide in its own archive. The villain reveals a new prop in the form of a Phantom Zone crystal as in the World of the Knights, Batman and Robin accompany Superman and Lois back to the world of tomorrow. Superman regains his powers thanks to being far away from Dr. Adam's kryptonite bracelet as the heroes learn that they are in Superman's world and they are in a cave underneath the man of a wealthy family. Batman knows where they are and the Batcave should be here as Lois asks how much time has passed, but Superman isn't sure how time works when they go back and forth between worlds. Suddenly they are attacked by robots that Superman notes look very much like the ones the unknown wizard uses, with Lois thinking that the wizard was right about Martha Wayne stealing his ideas. Batman demands to know why she said that name as Superman protects the group from the robot's guns. Jimmy Olsen meanwhile searches the Wayne estate, finding a series of caverns where where he learns from the imprisoned Dr. Luther that Martha didn't steal the designs from him, but she is a part of a cross-dimensional trading scheme. He says that Martha is getting tech from a Dr. Adam, a man from another reality, and in exchange, she sends him prisoners like him to be used as guinea pigs in Adam's insane experiments. Luther demands the boy let him out of his cell as the hulking Alfred Pennyworth comes by, attacking the young photographer. Superman Mimo rips through the robots to the amazement of Robin as Batman says that he's a noisy brute. Lois hopes that Batman 
has a better idea, and Batman always does, taking down some of the robots with a grapple hook. Lois joins in with her hand blaster that the spider gave her as Batman tells Superman to use his optical blast on their heads. Superman blows through three of the robots, saying that it's called his heat vision. Heroes celebrate their victory as Superman hears that Jimmy Olsen is in trouble, racing off with Lois to rescue him, as Batman and Robin meanwhile head up the staircase nearby, noting how it's exactly like their staircase in the Batcave. Batman knows that Robin should have picked up on that earlier as they enter the mansion, finding it to be exactly like their mansion, only how it used to be before Bruce's parents died. Suddenly, Batman is confronted by Martha Wayne, who points her laser gun at the hero. Batman calls to his mother as she fires, hitting the hero in the shoulder. Jimmy Mimol is caught by Alfred, who wants to crack his skull open as a punishment. Superman and Lois arrive, telling him to put the boy down as Superman attacks, telling the villain that they are back from the other dimension. Robin Mimol is attacked by Martha as well as the injured Batman contacts Superman through a high frequency transmitter, telling him that he's losing a lot of blood and he needs to get out of there. Robin disarms Martha, told not to hurt her by Bruce as the hero realizes that the woman is Bruce's mother. Batman can hear something outside, racing to the window with Robin and jumping out of it as Bruce fires on them. The heroes plummet off the cliff the house sits on and fall into the back of a car which Superman is carrying, joining Lois and Jimmy as they escape the mansion. Heading into Metropolis, Robin meets with Jimmy, comparing who is the better partner as Superman uses his heat vision to seal Batman's wounds. Lois comments Batman's utility belt seems to have everything, but the hero knows he doesn't have a cauterizing iron, thanking Superman for his assistance. Batman looks out at Metropolis, noting how different it is compared to his, finding it very peaceful. The heroes know that Luther is linked to this, wondering if they can believe him, but Superman knows that Jim Lee actually wouldn't lie about something like this. Batman actually meant Luther himself, so Jimmy says that he can ask him since he snuck Luther his portaphone. Superman finds that quite clever as Lois calls him, finding Luther angered not even any of his assistants could help him, knowing only Lois Lane can save him and in return she'll get the story of a century, but she must hurry before Martha sends him to another dimension. Lois wants to head back to the mansion with Superman, but Luther says that after Superman's antics, Martha believes that the burn hole under her home is compromised and tonight she's taking him to a second burn hole in the Gotham City Cemetery. At the cemetery, Luther is taken by Martha to Dr. Adam, hoping to interest the villain in Lex Luthor for his new experiments. Adam is very interested since he'll be quite valuable. She tells her men to escort him back to the Arkham Asylum on the other side of the burn hole as Adam gives Martha a serum that will give the user strength that equivalent of Superman's. Suddenly, the world's finest smash into the crypts, confronting Dr. Adam and demanding to know where Luthor is. Adam's kryptonite amulet affects Superman as Bruce tells his mother that the evil bat creature is back. Martha tells tells her son that ever since his father's death, she's tried to make the world a better place for him and she doesn't want monsters to hurt him again, but now she knows the best way to protect Bruce from monsters is to make him one. She injects him with a serum and Bruce begins to change into something bizarre. Bruce attacks Superman, talking in backwards meaning sentences as Robin says that the monster is stronger than Superman now. Batman knows the hero is weakened by the amulet as Dr. Adam attacks the Dark Knight, firing his gun at the hero as Batman tells Robin they need to get the villain away from Superman as quick as possible. Batman attacks the villain, attaching a device to the back of his helmet that when Robin pulls on, yanks the villain out of the cemetery, knocking him out on a headstone. Robin removes the amulet and Superman continues fighting the bizarro Bruce, easily taking him down now that his full power is back. Outside the crypt, Batman confronts the escaping Martha, telling her the scheme she's running with Dr. Adam and turning the world into another hell is evil and it's over now. Martha says that all she wants is for her son to be safe so Batman unmasks himself, asking her at what cost as Martha recognizes Bruce, hugging him and asking what she has done. Superman Mimo unmasks Dr. Adam, learning that it's this world's Lex Luthor, who says that he's not the Lex Luthor from either of their worlds. He's from another world that was obliterated years ago by Etrigan and an Armageddon, but he escaped its apocalypse and got a glimpse of the reality behind all realities, knowing each of their worlds is part of a collection in an archive of worlds overseen 
Cena by a being called the Author, who is obsessed with creating a utopia and once a world in his archive proves incapable of perfection, it's destroyed. Luther hopes that they understand his arrangement with Martha now, since by removing the world's criminal element and using his advanced tech there, he was perfecting the world and saving it from Author's wrath. Robin thinks that he's nuts, but knows that he's from another reality as well, so he can trust him. Jim Gordon and the police arrive and Batman notes how very different this Jim is to the one he knows back on his world, as Robin tries to talk with Gordon, but the man doesn't know who the kid is. Superman introduces Batman and Robin, his partners, and how they just stopped the criminals, including Martha Wayne and her son Bruce, who have been captured nearby. Bruce tells his mother that the serum wore off, but only on half of him, and the other half has left his face scarred with a bizarre voice in his head which says that it will kill his mother for what happened. As Luther is loaded into a car, he kicks himself free of the guards, taking his amulet as he escapes towards the burn hole, jumping into it and telling the heroes that he will show them as the heroes follow him through to Earth Zero, where Batman and Superman battle Orta over the Phantom Crystal. 